The Lord be with you and with, and your, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to either enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert, and when that happens, you make him a child of Jehenna, twice as much yourself. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, If one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it's, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar swears by it and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. One who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who is seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. The gospel that we have read today, and as it, as it was read wonderfully by our deacon, and is part of the, the chapter 23 of Matthew, verse 1 up to 22. And if we hear the words in this part of the gospel, we can realize that it is something that is very hard and difficult to listen to, especially if you are in the seat of leadership, specifically the leadership in the church. Kabang binabasa nga ng deacon kanina, feeling ko parang binabato sa akin yung mga salita. Because somehow, if you look at it, Jesus was commenting on uh, the church leaders of his time. Na para bagang, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo is against the church, this church institution or the church leadership. But to be clear about it, I don't think Jesus was against leadership in the church or leadership in general. Rather, what he was doing was really just to show those who are in power, those who are in authority, in the religion of that time, what is it really to be a leader, a religious leader at that. Kaya kung pakikinggan natin ang gospel na yon, ang gospel na ito, Meron tayong leksyon na makukuha. Leksyon, hindi lang kung ikaw ay leader. Leksyon even to each and every Christian that hears these words. 
Bakit kami nadamay, Father? Hindi naman kami leader, oh. Tingnan natin mamaya bakit lahat tayo kasama sa salita ng Diyos sa araw na ito. Then we ask, ano po ba yung mga lesson na pwede nating makita about leadership? Again, the Lord Jesus calls out the leaders of its of his time to be good leaders. And the lessons that he is, point, is pointing out that Jesus are pointing out are the lessons in becoming a good leader, especially a religious leader. Dalawa ang pwede nating tignan on how is it really to be a good leader. Una, the Lord Jesus shows us that if you are and if you want to be a good leader, you should be someone who knows how to point to people that which is greater than you. Man. Marunong dapat tayong ituro yung mas malaki pa sa atin, yung mas mabuti pa sa atin, yung mas magaling pa sa atin. So as to improve the life of the people that you are leading. Bakit kailangan ituro ang lesson na yun? Eh na kasi, kapag ka ikaw ay nasa seat or nasa authority, nasa power, nandun lagi yung temptasyon na gusto mo, ikaw yung tinitignan ng tao. Nandyan talaga yan. Kasi ang sarap ng feeling na ganun. And you could not deny that. Minsan merong lumapit sa akin na nananay. Sabi niya, Father, nakilala ka po ng anak ko. Sabi niya, Mommy, yan yung paring nakikita natin sa TV. Tapos sabi ng nanay, Father, sabi niya, celebrity priest ka talaga. And I was like, meron palang ganun, celebrity priest? Pero sa loob-loob ko, parang ang sarap ng feeling, pakinggan na ganun, celebrity priest. But at the same time, questions were running in my mind. Ano kaya ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin ba nun, nakinig sila sa sinasabi ko? Ibig sabihin nun, meron ba sila napulot na leksyon sa akin? O natuwa lang ba sila sa itsura ko? Pero ang sarap ng feeling. No wonder why... I think these are one of the reasons people who are in power or who are in the position of leadership finds it difficult to give up that position. Isa yun sa nagpapahirap eh. Kasi pag hindi ka na nasa position, feeling mo wala nang pumapansin sa'yo. Feeling mo hindi ka na importante. Eh kasi nga, ang sarap ng feeling na ganun. Nandun lagi yung temptasyon na yon. But if you are going to indulge in that kind of you know, experience, ah, ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo sa atin, hindi tayo mabuting leader. Hindi tayo good leaders at that. Because a good leader knows how to point to his subjects, those people who are who is leading, which is point to that which is greater than himself. Kaya kami dito sa aming simbahan, ano, dito sa Basilika, ang lagi naming nire-remind sa aming mga empleyado, when you do service, when you work here, do not work for us priests. Kasi kami, after some time, lilipat din naman talaga. Rather work for Mama Mary, work for the church. Do not work for us. Kaya kapag ka-feeling na rin namin, ang mga empleyado namin nagtatrabaho na para sa amin, ay, 
Iba tipong gagalaw lang sila kapag ka nakikita si Father. May problema tayo diyan. Sino ba yung modelo natin sa sa trait na yun na isang good leader? There she is. Mama Mary. Her adornment, her crown, her jewels is nothing but a direction that points to us towards her son. That is why the tawag of manawag is not a call towards herself, rather a call towards her son, who is someone greater than her. That is a good leader. Pangalawang lesson. If you are a good leader, you just don't you you just don't know how to point to people that which is greater than us. But we also know how to accompany our subjects in their journey towards that greatness. Ibig sabihin, alam natin makiramdam. Alam nating umintindi doon sa mga ginagabayan natin. Ito kasi yung hindi nakita ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo sa mga leaders of His time. They were very prolific of the Scriptures. They were very much knowledgeable. Pero ano yung ginagawa nila? They just point out to people the truth and leaves them alone. Kaya ang ginagawa ng mga church leaders of those time, sinasabi lang sa tao, ikaw makasalanan, ikaw mabuti ka, ikaw makasalanan, ikaw ayos ka. And that's it. Nothing more. Kaya ang daming feeling oppressed. Hindi lang feeling oppressed, talagang na-oppressed. Binabagsakan na lang ng, ng, ng katotohanan, eh, and that's it. Sa ating panahon ngayon, that is something very, very much existing. Alam niyo yung cancel culture na tinatawag? Parang ganun yun eh. Babagsakan ka lang kang katotohanan. Ikaw, mali ka. Hindi tama yung ginagawa mo. And that's it. You are already condemned. E sa panahon pa naman ng internet, ang dali-dali. Mm. Mm. Just a matter of clicking that button. Pwede ka nang nahusgahan. Tapos maglalagay pa tayo ng comment, ano? Ganda-ganda ng comment natin na feeling natin talagang kilalang kilala natin yung tao. Alam na alam natin yung mali niya. We do not even give a person a chance to explain himself or herself. Which is part of a company Kadali, kadaling magbagsak ng katotohanan sa tao. Ikaw, makasalanan ka. But to accompany that person so that he would become better, it could take much time and patience and love. But that is being a good leader. So, are we good leaders? Father, do I really need to be a good leader? Di ba kayo lang yon? Kayo lang nila sister yan? Well, in one way or another, all of us are leaders here. If you are parents, then you are the ones leading your children towards becoming good persons. 
If you are teachers, then you are leading your students. If you are a businessman, then you are leading your, your people. Some way or another, we are leaders. Father, simpleng-simpleng tao lang talaga ako. Wala akong subjects. Is that still my concern? By virtue of our baptism, all of us are called to be Christians. And being Christians, we are called to follow Christ. And who is Christ? Who is Jesus? He is the Good Shepherd. And a good shepherd is a good leader. A good shepherd is a good leader. A good shepherd knows how to point to the sheep where they are safe, where they will be fed, where that place is good for them. And a good shepherd knows how to find that lost sheep and accompany it back to the fold. That is a good leader. And that is who we should be.